All right, what's going on guys? Welcome everybody back to another video on the channel and what you're watching is pretty much the closest version we have right now currently to Nuketown Zombies in Black Ops Cold War. So just about an hour ago, Nuketown was released to everybody. If you update your game, it is now available in the playlist and if you do happen to have the Onslaught game mode, you can play Zombies on Nuketown. And so today I figured I would show you some gameplay of this, show you how this works and what it's all about and what I think of it. This video is going to be sort of an Onslaught review and I'm basically going to break down this map in comparison to the other ones and I would also like to speculate a little bit about what it would be like based on this game plan what we have what a like legit nuketown uh, reimagining for Cold War would look like so before we dive too deep into this if you guys don't mind leaving a like rating on the video that would be incredible it is completely free to do as well as remembering to subscribe if you're new to the channel around here and I also do stream zombies nearly every single day over on Twitch so if you guys don't already follow me over there then I highly recommend it links in the description down below but let's go ahead and get into this so when i loaded up this map my initial impression was that this is the closest remake or remaster that we have to the original nuketown from black ops one this is probably the most faithful version of the remaster and for those of you call of duty veterans who have been playing for a long time you know that we have had so many different versions of nuketown over the years we've had the original we've had the one from black ops 2 bo3 bo4 like there's been an incredible amount of different variations of nuketown all with their own different aesthetic and flavor and twist this one is obviously no different but just from a purely aesthetic standpoint it's probably the closest to the original version from black ops 1 which can either be a good or bad thing depending on whether you like that map or not however what i will say is that i'm i'm pretty pleased with the aesthetics of the map it feels like a more authentic version of original nuketown which obviously was like uh the, the whole idea is that it's you know manufactured it's not a real town this one feels a little bit more like a real town although it's not but there's like you know hippie graffiti everywhere and it's more like of the time period so I'm a big fan of that and also it's just really really bright and sunny so as far as I'm concerned just in the look department it are automatically gets a thumbs up it gets a 10 out of 10 for me now as far as the zombies like gameplay let's say well this is where I think um, my opinion is gonna be a little bit different so, of course, the only way to play zombies on here is through the Onslaught game mode, and if most of you guys know that this is a PlayStation exclusive right now, and so the only way you can actually play this on Nuketown is if by owning a PS4 or a PS5, but assuming you do and you want to play this mode, does it actually play well? Is it worth your time? Well, I would say that because this Onslaught mode is really meant to be sort of a bonus mode, kind of like how original zombie was back in World at War, I think there's, I think this has a lot of potential, but there are some key things that need to be adjusted and and some you know changes here and there that could make onslaught absolutely incredible as its current state i don't think it's an amazing game mode although it is like it's a nice bit of fun you know especially with friends it's uh it's a good change of pace from if you're just getting bored of playing d machine the original zombies map the only one available currently to us in cold war zombies but it's a it's a nice change of pace although i think with some tweaks it could be made a lot better the idea is there's this orb that floats around the map and goes to different locations encasing you in sort of a bubble it's basically like you know like a battle royale zone you have to stay inside there and fend off zombies and every couple rounds or so like every time it moves that counts as a round and like every three or four it'll stop and then like a big elite will spawn so like a megaton you'll need to fight a boss zombie and then you'll get rewarded through random perks you can get extra guns or even kill streaks and this is all well and good it'll keep track of you know how many surges you survived as well as how many elites you've killed I think one of the only problems is that the game doesn't really seem to get any harder like genuinely it gets more like artificially difficult and to explain what I mean the first like 15 rounds of onslaught uh, give or take play pretty much the best like it's a really really fun game mode for about the first 15 rounds because you know you're killing zombies quickly the rounds are actually getting more difficult you are getting weapons and drops and perks and stuff along the way and you feel like you're actually progressing along with the zombies which is kind of the name of the game the problem uh, once you get like usually past round 20 is that it seems like you as a player cap out and the zombies just continue to get stronger they don't really necessarily continue in numbers like there's not more of them per se but like it's really the boss zombies that just stack in health and they become absolute bullet sponges later and then typically in nuketown or if i'm playing any onslaught game mode that's usually when i just back out of the game it's very rare that you die out of onslaught more like you sort of just end the game out of boredom because it's going to take you an hour to kill the megatons and the splitters that come off of it. 
One of the main problems is uh, maybe I just haven't gone that far in Onslaught and you guys can let me know, but I don't think you can even get pack-a-punched weapons. I've gone pretty far in the rounds before my game crashes because that's genuinely what happens. At the end of this Nuketown game, my PS5 pretty much completely bricked, so as soon as I'm done recording this video, I need to go see if I can fix my PS5. So that's a little bit of an issue right now, but other than that, like I, I don't think you can get pack-a-punched guns. There's a few like restricted items that the game just won't give you, and I, I don't believe that you you can actually get you know fully strapped up i also don't think that as the rounds continue that they apply enough zombie pressure on you it's like if you're just relying on the elites as bullet sponges to take out the player that's more like annoying than really anything it's it's just more artificial difficulty than what is genuine fun about zombies they just they don't throw a lot at you at once which again is fine for some maps but like especially for this one i feel like the player generally could handle a lot more than what is given to us and it just kind of makes for like dull moments and and, and lulls in game play i also feel like the orb could move a lot faster to its next location just to keep the game pace up that's another one of those things it's just like you feel like you have a break in the action every two minutes and it's just like oh my god it's difficult to throw tons of enemies at the player especially when they're like reloading or switching weapons or transitioning to a new location and i understand that but i think like this definitely needs a little bit of balance tweaking it does give you a lot of room in the zone and it doesn't seem to get any smaller which is a good thing especially for nuketown because you like in most cases you've pretty much got like half the map playable give or take at any point of the map or I guess pretty much about a third so wherever you happen to be you've got like a decent uh viable training spot or even a camping strat if you want to do that instead and it also a good thing about it is it fosters multiple kinds of play styles you can choose to camp or you can choose to run around whatever you like but I think the problem is that it's so dependent on the weapons that you get after killing bosses sometimes like you'll be pretty high in the rounds and you won't see anything rarer than a blue and it just gets really really dull trying to take down an elite enemy only using that it's it's kind of painful I think most importantly that like again past the first 15 rounds the game just starts to lack in variety a little bit and and again the concept of this is great I love the concept of onslaught in and playing on nuketown makes it all the better like this is genuinely what nuketown zombies is you know and, and they could make it that way I just think that it needs a little bit of balancing adjustments and some new features added to help spice up the gameplay variety is very clearly missing in this mode and I understand it like this was probably made uh, in a very very short short amount of time and the fact that they were able to put this together in a short amount of time is pretty impressive albeit is it is an exclusive so not everybody's going to get to play it which is rather unfortunate but for what they've done here you you really got to give them some credit I think what would be a very nice change to this game mode, instead of every time you get random guns upon killing boss zombies, it would be cool if you could, like, basically pick guns from a small menu, and you could load them in. Every time you kill, like, an elite, let's say, you get a point, and then you can use those points to get, like, rarer guns, or maybe you can stack up five or six points to get a pack-a-punched gun to help keep that game progression flowing for longer, because that's really where it drops off, and, like, that that's, that's when the boredom kicks in. Once you get to about past 20 and then you're not really doing any damage to the boss on me it's just like good lord you know you, you, you don't really want to play it anymore because you don't feel like it's of your benefit and and you kind of just got like artificially choked out and so that's no good overall though i would say that i'm actually going to play this a little bit more you know because it's like it, it's it, a really good like concept of nuketown zombies and as far as i'm concerned right now the closest thing we have to a faithful nuketown uh remaster in zombies uh currently but that might change in the future we don't really know Although it's like, again, it is a really neat idea. And if you guys have PlayStation, if you have the Onslaught game mode, then I definitely recommend you load it up and try it out. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what Nuketown Zombies looks like on Cold War. Give you my opinions on this a little bit and how I think it could be made better. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you like the way Nuketown looks? Are you excited for Nuketown Zombies, as it were? If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here if you are new to the channel. And I also have a main channel that I post more zombies if you want to go subscribe over there too. Link is in the description below, as well as my Twitch channel. So make sure to go follow those too. But anyways, I'll see you guys over there. Have a fantastic rest of your day everyone, and I'll see you all on the next stream or the next video. Take it easy, guys. I gotta go, and peace out.